Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, and we're going to talk about the reads that don't really fit into any kind of specific category. They're the ones that kind of happen monthly around here. If you saw the story graph video that I did a week or so ago, it has the January books that I picked and it has its own card and that's where it's going to stay. However, there are some other people's TBRs that I play along with. There's also like the Buzzword-a-thon. There's a Voxer book club that I'm a part of. And so we're just going to talk about those like random reads that I have. Hopefully I'm enough out of the way for us to be able to see all of this, but... These are the reads for February. The first one is Expedition Through Pages, and it's called The Tale, Tale From Two Trails. I do this every time. I don't know if it's The Tale of Two Trails. I think it's From Two Trails. Anyway, this year, Kim is playing with her mom as another team captain. Kim is actually my team captain because I am on Team B. But her mom is the captain for Team A. And so anyway, they're playing the game against each other. And we are on the teams to like read books, do things, and get it all, get everything finished. And her months run a little bit differently because she wants to get people prepared for the next month ahead of time. So we can start reading on January 26th and we have to stop on February 25th and get everything entered so that they can do it for the next month. So this one did not happen in January. She was setting the game all up and then we started reading in February. And here's what I'm going to read. So the first prompt was a random song. So this is so funny. I just recently got a Spotify account. I know. I don't know who I am. I've just used YouTube music before now. And honestly, since I listen to so many audiobooks, I don't listen to a ton of music, but... I saw everybody having such a good time with their Spotify wrapped and I was like, I need to do that. <laughs> so I got the free Spotify account. I started adding music to it and I wanted to find like songs from my childhood that I used to listen to. So I started with like 80s and 90s, mostly country with 90s hip hop kind of thrown into there. That's kind of how my life went, 80s country into 90s country with some hip hop added. So I went through something called the 90s mix, which is all kinds of genres of music, which is what I wanted. Anyway, that is a long story to say. I got this country song called Heads Carolina, Tails California. And it's about, let's flip a coin and decide where we're going to go. We can go anywhere in the country. They're in the U.S. And they're like, let's just flip a coin and let's go. So this book, Where the Lost Wander, seemed like a perfect fit for a song that's about, let's just go somewhere. Even though it's probably not. It's a historical fiction and it's Amy Harmon. So I feel like those are a little more on the heavy, deep side than this song feels like. But that's okay. That's what I went with for random song. Then the next one was just a seasonal read. And so I'm going with In the Bleak Midwinter. Now you'll notice these books are already on previous TBRs. And that's because all I'm trying to do for this thing is complete these books in order to be able to help my team. So I'm not trying to add extra books on here for me to read. So I just needed a winter read. That looks wintry to me. That's what I went with. Then she got Wordle. And the word of the day was tweak. And so she's like, let's think about tweaking a society or tweaking your belief system or something like that. And that's, let's go with that. And so this is the book that I picked, A Brightness Long Ago. I'm already reading it. I hope it has something that I can use tweak for because I didn't want to go too in depth in it because then I got spoilers. But I'm hoping that this works. She picked a group read, which they're going to do every time, like for our team. And if I read that book for our team, we get five points. And the book read was Hard Times by Charles Dickens that she feels like could fit the word tweak. So that is a new book, an extra book that I didn't already have on my TBR. So I've put it here next to A Brightness Long Ago. And it is on Libby. I did go ahead and reserve it on Libby. So if I can get it and read it by February 25th, then that's what I'm going to do. If I don't have time to read it, hopefully I can read A Brightness Long Ago, but either one of those books is going to count for the Wordle challenge that we had. 
And then our monthly like extra challenge is that we have to go to the comments. We have to play Wordle on our phone and then go to the comments and share a book that goes along with the Wordle word for that day that we played. So anyway, I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll do it later today. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to do it before February 25th. Then the next one that I have is a book club that is on a Discord and it is um, Joshi Karen. That is her YouTube channel, and she does bullet journal stuff and stuff like that. But on her Discord, we have a book club. And last month, we read Ink Blood Sister Scribe. And this month, we're reading Butcher and Blackbird. So this seems to be like some kind of romance where the romantic partners are serial killers, or literally, that's what I know about it. And this cover is everything. I love the colors on it. I love the pictures on it. I'm like, what is about to happen? So I cannot wait to get to this book, but we're going to be talking about this book at the end of February. So I have the whole month of February to read it. Then the buzzword book for February is good words or sweet words. Let me see exactly what it says. Oh, it's positive words. So I'm going with Sweet Home Alaska. So we've got sweet in the title and this book is already on one of my TBRs. So I'm not adding a book. I'm just reading one that I was already planning to read that fits the buzzword for February. Then my book club on Voxer, we just move very slowly through books because people read at much different speeds. So I will read three or four chapters in the book and I'll go in and say, I stopped at chapter six and I will tell my thoughts about it. And then I will wait until everybody else has read up to chapter six and shared their thoughts about it. And then I will read the next chunk of three or four chapters and share my thoughts about that. So the book that we're reading for that is A Spoonful of Murder, which is being compared to the Thursday Murder Club. It is a group of older, retired teachers, and they're in the UK. At least we think they are. We're trying to figure it out, but we're only like five chapters in, but I think they're in the UK. And their other retired teacher friend, according to the back, is going to die, and they're going to try to solve the murder. So a spoonful of murder. They meet for tea once a week. That's why... It's called A Spoonful of Murder. So far, it's very cute. And that is really it. I did, you notice there's a little space on the side, and I did leave a space because Amy from A Star Reads usually has the game of bookish life that she plays. And she does one spin for the viewers. And so I just left this space here in case she puts out her game and in case she does the spins. I don't know if she's going to be playing it this year. I know that she's still trying to catch up from December stuff. And now we're doing Squash That Series in January and she's part of that as well. So I know that things are a little bit hectic at her house. And so I'm not even sure if she's going to do Bookish Life, but... I want to have it reserved for if she does. And then I'm just copying everything I have here because next month I'm going to have a new buzzword, a new Joshi, hopefully a bookish life, and more Expedition Through Pages. There's going to be three prompts every time for Expedition Through Pages. So this is just going to be my monthly reads card that I'm going to follow with. Oh, I just noticed that I covered up the title of Sweet Home Alaska, but y'all, y'all know, y'all can see it. Y'all know what it is. Anyway, that is going to do it for the monthly reads for February. I know that I've talked about some of these books before in previous TBRs, but if there's something on here that you've read, I want to know what you think about it. Like I said, I've already started A Spoonful of Murder, but I have not read or started any of the rest of these. So I am really excited to get going with them, especially Butcher and Blackbird and In the Bleak Midwinter. So for some reason, those two are like my most favorite from this list. Let me know what you think about them down below. Let me know if you're doing Expedition Through Pages and are you Team B? Go Team B. And are you doing any of the rest of these? I've seen a lot of people doing their buzzwords for January, but let me know what your buzzword is for February down below. And that's going to do it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.